This episode of Science Max is all about hot and cold. A giant hot air balloon, dry ice, the coldest temperature possible, absolute zero, and whatever this is. Blubber suit! All on this episode of Science Max, experiments at large. You see that? Carbon dioxide gas. Our bodies breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Did you see it? Oh, take another look. How about now? No, you didn't see it, right? Because carbon dioxide is invisible unless you freeze it. This is dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide. And this is wet ice. It's not really called wet ice. It's frozen water. Now, you know what temperature water freezes at? Starts with a zero, ends with a... Well, it's actually zero. Zero degrees Celsius. And this freezes at negative 79 degrees Celsius. It's much colder. I have to hold on to it with a glove because if I held on to it with my bare hands, I get frostbite. So here's the experiment. If I pour some liquid water on the dry ice, will it freeze again? Let's find out. Because the dry ice is so much colder than the freezing point of the water, the water begins to freeze from the bottom up in room temperature air right before our eyes. Whoa, totally frozen. Cool. Cool. In order to build our hot air balloon, Michaela and I are taking clear garbage bags cutting them along the seams so they end up as one thin sheet of plastic and taping them all together with duct tape into a balloon. Okay, so that's nice. how many bags is that? 